congratulations. Good luck. All the best. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations, media and communication students. Congratulations, everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Richard Pickersgill and I'm the Dean here at Trinity College's Pathway School. I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to everyone attending the ceremony today, whether it be in person or online from your home country. As is customary at the beginning of any official ceremony at Trinity, I'd like to acknowledge the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation, the traditional custodians of the land upon which Trinity stands. I'd like to pay respects to their elders, past, present and emerging and also pay respect to any Indigenous people who are present here today. This graduation ceremony is unlike many others, in the sense that some of you are here in Melbourne, others are still in your home country. Some of you completed your whole program in person, others completed, completed your whole program online, and then there was that group of you who started online before coming to Melbourne. I think the thing to remember is for all of you, the persistence you've shown whatever mode of study in completing your studies here at Trinity. You still worked hard to make it through to the end and have success within your foundation studies program. Much of what I have to say today is to you, the students of Trinity College who are graduating. However, it would be remiss of me not to acknowledge the role that your parents have played in helping you get to this point today. So for those family members who are watching this ceremony in person or online, I'd say thank you. Thank you for delivering us the amazing young people who are part of our um, 2022 cohorts and ready to prepare uh, for the University of Melbourne and undertake their studies at Trinity College. Thank you for being brave enough to commit to letting your most precious resource, your son or daughter, travel overseas to engage in a truly international education. And thank you for entrusting Trinity to be, Trinity to be your partner in the quest to make your child's educational dreams come true. Now to the students. As you move from Trinity into your chosen degree program, you'll make another transition, but one we hope that has been made easier by the experiences you've had while you've been here at Trinity. We know that the Foundation Studies program that you've engaged in is a challenging one, and it often takes you outside your comfort zone. But as an academic staff, we are confident that the breadth of subjects that you've studied in the manner very similar to that which you'll encounter at the University of Melbourne will hold you in good stead as you strive for success moving forward. Now, for anyone speaking at a valedictory ceremony, it's customary to offer some advice to those who are graduating. So I'm going to shape my top three pieces of advice for university success to a COVID-affected reality, all while holding out the hope that you'll be able to commence and complete your degree here at the University of Melbourne. Firstly, whether virtual or in person, make sure that you participate in University Orientation Week activities. In doing so, try and mix with students from a broad range of nationalities and then join some clubs and societies that'll challenge and stretch you. Some of my fondest memories and some of the best friendships I formed at university occurred when I participated in activities that were outside my comfort zone. One of the most important things about becoming a truly global citizen is the ability to understand different cultures from the inside. In the process, coming to understand what really motivates and drives individuals from different cultures. Second piece of advice. Just as you've engaged with the student wellbeing staff, the academic administration staff and your teachers throughout your time at Trinity, learn to use the support services available to you within the university. From a wellbeing perspective, the Student Union offers a range of services that can enrich your experience. If you need advice about the best ways to access support within the university, please don't hesitate to reach out to the staff members that you know at Trinity. We'll always be there to provide you with advice should you need it. And my third and final piece of advice is to, moving forward, try and find that perfect balance between studying hard but also having some fun. 
while you'll no doubt experience long nights of study and intermittent pressures to complete assignments, the university years are also the time when you have the greatest degree of freedom um, to explore what it is to be you. As you graduate from university and start work, you increasingly focus on the needs of others. So for the next year through years, focus on developing yourself into the type of person that you want to become, forming friendships and having a range of fun along the way. So congratulations to all of you for not only managing um, but thriving within your Foundation Studies program. Congratulations for making whichever transitions you did from online learning over the last few years into face-to-face -face learning and making the very best of it. And most of all, congratulations for embracing the broad liberal education program on offer at Trinity. In the process, changing the way that you view education. From all of the staff here at Trinity, we wish you every success in the next chapter of your life. And we can't wait to see you back as you move forward. I'd now like to introduce our guest speaker for tonight. Our guest speaker is the 2022 Foundation Studies Alumni of the Year. He attended Trinity in 2007. And then in 2019, he founded and became the CEO of his own business called Astro. It's a Jakarta-based food delivery service, an area that's exploding in the world right now. By 2022 this year, he opened his 50th distribution location and has drivers traveling all around Jakarta delivering food for people. Also very well known for treating employees very well and providing them with amazing training opportunities to further their career. It's my pleasure to introduce Vincent Tendra. Hi everyone, Vincent here. Congratulations on your graduation, a start of an exciting journey. Let me introduce myself quickly. I'm also an alumnus of Trinity College Foundation Studies 2007. After Trinity, I continue my pursuit to higher education in the University of Melbourne, uh, completing both my bachelor and master's in engineering, focusing in mechatronics. Afterwards, I moved to Sydney to work in a tech company and returned back to Indonesia where I work at a consulting firm McKinsey and a leading e-commerce company called Tokopedia. And recently, you know, starting in September 2021, me and my friend started a startup called Astro, which is a quick commerce that we deliver groceries within 50 minutes. Now, for today, the focus is you. As you embark on your next journey, I would like to share three personal stories from my side that may hopefully help you charter your own pathways. So let's get started. The first story is about pursuing your curiosity. In my late teens, I was very ambitious. I want to earn as much money as possible as that's what typically society expects. My best friend then asked me, What's next? What would you do if you already have all the money you're looking for? And I could not answer immediately. I did know, though, that luxury items were not for me. So it took me some time to figure out. And what I realized was that I actually want to spend my time doing things that I'm interested in, the things that I'm curious about. And since then, all my life and career choices have been based on the singular focus of thinking about what you know, I'm curious about. And it's never, it's never about financial returns. Everything spanning about moving to Sydney, Indonesia, across different industries. Now, what this practically means is that this allows you to enjoy what you do and spend the time to really find your genius zone and accumulate expertise and craftsmanship rather than limiting yourself in terms of what financial returns you may have. Now, uh, a lot of things that you really want to do um, in the future may not be invented yet given the rapid pace of the technology development. So it is very fun. It's very enjoyable as well to define your future by simply pursuing your curiosity. So hopefully that first story helps you. Now onto the second story. Enjoy the adventure, all the ups and downs. We did talk about the second first story, which was about the future by pursuing your curiosity. Now, the adventure basically means what is the present to future? What's the process like? So a bit of a story about myself. Astro is the sixth startup I've joined or started. Two of them fortunately went public and achieved some great success by public standard. However, three failed. Uh, for every single failure or closure though, I learned a lot of things. 
and it helps sh help shape uh, who I am today. Now, don't get me wrong. Every single one of them was very painful. Now, after going through all these cycles of ups and downs uh, several times, I realized that as society tend to reject or see failures as taboos. But in fact, it's part of life, right? If you want to achieve some highs, you need to be able to embrace the lows. Once I realized this, it liberated me from fear, fearing failure. In fact, it allowed me to be more courageous. I would move on to next adventure in life whenever I felt I'm already at comfort zone, uh, especially for startups uh, that have started. Um, you know, I save up a lot of money to be able to make sure I'm my own personal runway uh, to give it a shot. Uh, in the worst case, you know, knock on wood, if things didn't work out, I would have come back to work, save up again, and start all over again because that's something that I believe uh, is part of the adventure of ups and downs. Now, the third story is about yourself or ourself. It's about embrace being different. I've always been the nerd of the classroom, the introverted one that will raise his hands in classrooms asking questions to teachers. Now, for a good first half of my life, I felt different from the cool friends that, you know, around me. And I did not like being different because it was uncool, uh, sort of being different. Um, and after going through uh, all that pursuing of curiosity, I realized that, you know, in the adventures, actually, it's good to be different. Improving the world means we need to make something different. We need to push the status quo to be a better state. So I would encourage everyone to embrace being different, right? Your past, your present, it's all about you, right? Don't fear being different. Now, by embracing it, it may enable you to nudge the world to become a better place. Uh, hopefully, that's something that you can do. These are the three stories and learnings that hopefully resonate with you and help you in years to come. I just want to say congratulations again to your graduation. I look forward to your exciting adventures uh, and you know, see you around. Take care. As part of any graduation ceremony, we always have some performances, usually musical. So now I'd like to introduce you to our guest performers for this evening, Colin Leonardo and Tiffany Zhao. <laughs> If 
Foundation Studies students. On behalf of Trinity College and your fellow alumni, congratulations on your graduation. In whatever way you choose to celebrate this significant milestone, know that we are celebrating with you. Even though we can't be together in person this time, you are now part of a global community made up of more than 30,000 members. So your journey with Trinity doesn't stop here. Join my Trinity Connect our online alumni platform to stay in touch with your friends to keep up with the latest news from the college and your alumni community to find out about upcoming events in Melbourne and to find job opportunities and mentors we're here to support you as you start your university studies and your career so reach out to us at any time from all of us welcome to the Trinity College alumni community we look forward to connecting with you and I am one of your January Comprehensive 2022 valedictory speaker of the graduating class of 2022. Hi, I'm Jenny and I'm one of your January Comprehensive 2022 valedictory speakers for the graduating class of 2022. Hi, I'm Denise Tiono and I'm here today as one of your January Comprehensive valedictory speaker of the graduating class of 2022. I'm an open-minded, optimistic, and self-disciplined person. Pretty friendly and nice to others, and I always try to help my friends whenever I'm able to. I'm also quite hardworking, at least in terms of schoolwork. I always try to finish all my assignments on time while making sure I'm presenting work that I'm satisfied with. Kindness, consistency, hard work, dedication, teamwork, ambition, and expressiveness. 
these are the qualities in which I possess and would admire other people to possess these. I chose Trinity because it's the most guaranteed and reliable pathway to the UNIMEL. Trinity College is located in Victoria, which is known as the state of education, so you will undoubtedly get the best resources here. And it is because I have an older sister who graduated from Trinity College two years ago. She told me many great things about this place, so that was another encouragement for me to enter Trinity College. At first, I didn't really know much about Trinity College. After looking through several foundation studies and hearing good suggestions from my agents and friends, I found out that Trinity College actually checked all my boxes for my ideal foundation studies. I'd be lying to myself if I said that this year was simply rainbows and unicorns because that definitely was not the case. Each subject has a level of difficulties and I feel like for every test and assignments I had to work on, it was extremely tough, especially for boy. I remember every time there's an essay due a few weeks before the due date, that's when I'll start panicking and running back and forth to my tutor and going on and on about the fact that I have no idea what to write or even how to start because I have absolutely nothing prepared. This year has been a difficult one as we have to face the process of moving from online classes to offline. However, although the process was sort of challenging, it didn't make me give up. But it's worth mentioning that I did feel like giving up on getting friends and kids to give someone else a girl at the table tennis table. During my time in Trinity College, there's been numerous occasions in which I felt like giving up, mainly due to the global pandemic and also the fact that I'm attending classes online, which limits and restricts my interaction between my fellow classmates and teachers, and I'm also unable to participate in offline events such as Trinity Gateway Barbecue, in which offers free food, which I miss. In the last two months, something I have learned about myself is that when faced with much unfinished work, don't feel panic. It's better to use the weekend to take a two-day break and resume when I have enough energy. Though I'm aware that I need to start working harder, especially since exams are coming up, I prefer to be more independent, organized, and properly prepare my notes with the help of my tutors. During the last two months, I've learned that through communicating between my fellow classmates, teachers, and seniors is really beneficial and helpful for me in both the social and academic aspects. It isn't easy for me to give my peers some words of encouragement because I feel like I myself still need others to give me some words of encouragement. But I'll just pass on what my dad always tells me, and that is to just give your best in everything that you do because there's really nothing else you can do. And always remember that you're not alone because you can always ask for help or support whenever you need it. Don't stress about the obstacles that I have. Just relax and go for it. Give yourself a reset day when you are feeling particularly down. Then try your best. The outcome will be the best for you. To my fellow peers, the future may seem vague and intimidating, but it's okay. You're not alone. Everyone graduating here also faces the exact same challenges you're facing. Or similar. So my advice is just to trust yourself that everything will work out fine. Now I would like to congratulate all the graduates of the January Comprehensive We all have done well this year and I think everyone deserves a pat on the back. Congratulations! Congratulations!